friends again welcome to my channel now today we are discussing about the basic general principles of the food microbiology now in the previous lectures we are already discussing about the different concepts which are related with this food microbiology now we are dealing with this general principles that is majorly the food microbiology it is considered to be the branch of microbiology which deals with the study of different types of the microorganisms which are associated with the food means the different microflora which is associated with the food sample then it also includes the different effects of the presence of these microorganisms within the food then the quality of the what are the effects of this microflora on the quality of the food is there any type of the damage of the quality to the food due to the presence of this microorganism all of these concepts these are included under the general principles of food microbiology now as we know that majorly the food it is considered to be the it is highly nutritious in nature means we are eating this food material for the purpose of getting the different types of the nutrients so as it is enriched within the nutrients so it is also acts as a nutritional product for the growth of microorganism also so these microorganisms these can also be grow within the food so this food microbiology within this food microbiology we are dealing with the type number of this different microorganisms which are present within the food sample and effects of the presence of this microorganisms now the various types of the microorganisms which are associated with the food it includes the bacteria the common type of the microorganisms as we know that these microorganisms this cannot be seen with our naked eyes so preferentially within the food that is as external appearance it is good but there are chances that this type of the microorganism this may be present within the food sample so the bacteria fungi viruses protozoa and algae these different type or the various types of the microorganisms these may be associated with the food microbiology this may be associated with the food microbiology now within this the major type of the mostly the type of the microorganisms which are associated with the food it is totally depending upon the quality of the food material or within that we can say that the characteristics of the food sample the type of the nutrients which are present within the food sample as the proteinaceous foods these are present then the starchy food material these are present so on that basis that which type of the nutrients these are present then what are the general properties of that food that is the ph temperature at which there is the storage of that specific type of the food material on that basis these microorganisms these are present within the food sample if we are considering the bacteria majorly why the bacteria these are considered to be the main group of the microorganisms which are present within the food sample the reason behind that it is majorly these bacteria there are the diverse group of this bacteria these are present that which can grow at the different environmental conditions that is this may be the ph temperature means there are also the bacteria which are present uh, which are grow at a higher temperature which can grow at a lower temperature that is the saprophilic microorganism which can grow at a lower temperature the thermophilic microorganisms which can grow at a higher temperature then the acidophiles these are present which can grow at the acidic ph the basophiles these are present which can also grow at the alkaline ph so this diverse group of the bacteria these are present so due to that these bacteria these are majorly present as an contaminant or as an component within the food sample here i am saying both of conditions that is the either these are the contaminant or the component because majorly these microorganisms these are causing both of the effects on the food quality that is they may be responsible for improving the quality of the food or they may be responsible for cause for responsible for the undesirable changes which are carry out within the food sample and which are responsible to destroy complete quality of the food sample now the second type of, within this bacteria now there may be the gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria that is the bacillus species clostridium species which are the gram positive bacteria then within the gram negative bacteria the pseudomonas species escherichia coli species these are responsible for the contamination of this food sample for the 
contamination of food sample now the next one it is the fungi or the yeast majorly the fungi it include the aspergillus niger then the penicillium these are responsible to form the mycelial mass on the surface of the food material those of the substances which are moist that is the higher humidity it is present within that majorly within that they and mostly whenever these are acidic in nature this acidic condition and the moist nature it is the essential requirement for the growth of fungi for the growth of fungi within that the aspergillus niger and the penicillium within the protozoa the less number of protozoa these are responsible to contaminate the food samples then the algae majorly some type of the algae these are highly rich within the protein content so directly this can be utilized as a food material so majorly within that there is the involvement of that is the for the preparation of single cell protein including the spirulina spirulina okay now within the viruses majorly the nota virus then the uh, again the another example it is the hepatitis virus these are preferentially responsible to contaminate the food sample responsible to contaminate the food sample and again the protozoa these are also responsible to affect the digestive system of the organism now these are the harmful effects which are occur due to the presence of this microorganisms that means these bacteria or the fungi or viruses these are responsible to destroy the quality of the food by causing the undesirable changes within the food sample that is as if the substances these are proteinaceous in nature these are responsible to degrade this protein content which is present within the food sample then the different uh, carbohydrates these are also get degraded by the microbial activities so due to that the undesirable changes that is due to the production of the microbial micro due to the microbial end products there is the undesirable changes these are occur within the food quality now the beneficial effects which are associated with this microorganisms it includes preferentially there is the uh, majorly these microorganisms these are utilized for the purpose of production of the fermented food products different types of the fermented food products these are prepared by the utilization of these microorganisms for example there is the preparation of soya sauce by using the aspergillus species then there is the preparation of the sour crot that is it is an fermented cabbage it is an fermented cabbage so within that there is the utilization of different strains of the lactobacilli along with that another different types of the fermented milk products these are also present which include the yogurt cheese then the acidophilus milk these different types of the fermented milk products these are responsible to give the health benefits these are responsible means upon the ingestion of such type of the substances majorly these are responsible to give the health benefits and all of these products these are get form due to the microbial activities that is these microorganisms these are responsible to ferment this product to ferment this product so majorly these are the beneficial effects of these microorganisms and responsible to increase the microbial quality responsible to increase the microbial quality again now there are also the certain types of the probiotic foods now these probiotic foods it means these are the food within which directly there is the presence of live animal or live microorganisms directly we are ingesting the live microorganisms or these microorganisms these are utilized as the food as within our body if there is the presence of certain type of the pathogenic microorganisms due to ingestion of such type of the microorganisms they are responsible to replace these pathogenic microorganisms from our body so such type of the food material which are containing this live microorganisms these are called as the probiotics within that probiotics again there is the another type it is the prebiotic within which there is the presence of the growth factors which are responsible for enhancing the growth of beneficial microorganisms within our body then another type it is the symbiotic it is the combination of both probio probiotic and the prebiotics so these are the general principles of the food microbiology which includes the different types of the microorganisms which are associated with the food and the different harmful and the beneficial effect due to the presence of these microorganisms within the food sample so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also share this video with your friends thank you